Hi folks, and today um, I'm going to be discussing the a card that I've coveted as well as the Dragon Hammer. It's kind of those two in between, I think, the fierce competition. But uh, it's the Kraken uh, Vector 5, which um, I love the kind of buggy style kind of look. And here we have two brilliant examples. We have the classic one and we have one that's decked out in black. Now, I couldn't tell you for the life of me what specifications they are. I'm hoping the guys from Bashfest will be able to well, contact me and tell me the specs, but um, having filmed them uh, with my with my gear and watched them slow motion study how they turn and how they drive, they are very impressive. Now, I've always thought the wheel was a little bit too small, if I'm being honest, and I still think that. I think they should, could be a little bit chunkier. It, it, it doesn't seem to work, but um, the, the setup of the, of the classic... Um, shell seems to be a little bit better I and mean, as you can see in this slow motion um, footage um, it's actually gripping um, fiercely and uh, when you compare it to say hey, the Bahas who are a little bit more squiggly um, the the, the uh, Vector 5 just seem to be way more composed in the turns uh, and I mean like with power down as well now the black uh, Vector uh, a little bit more ginger uh, it looks like the cage is a little bit looser, I'm being honest with you, uh, but it's still got that, you know, definitely it's a little bit loose, uh, but the um, the classic shell um, is a little bit lower down, seems to be, you know, dialed in a little bit better, and that turning is absolutely amazing. It's actually gripping so well, um, and bear in mind that this is kind of loose, well, it's loose grass, but it's turned into um, kind of dirt and sand that has, has been ground down. But yeah, I'm really loving the the look of, of the Vector 5. I'd love to see one. I saw one close up. I saw the black one close up. And um, a gentleman was kind enough to kind of show me his um, Vector 5. And it was absolutely pristine. Absolutely mint. I think he was actually breaking it in. So maybe that's why he's going to be a little bit ginger. But this um, the classic one, the classic shell, seemed to be just hammering it to for now. Now, um, what you're about to see is a little bit awkward. Boop! Um, yeah, the wheel fell off. So I, do, I did a slow motion for you. And as you can see, it's just coming to the turn and the wheel just flies off. Now, clearly, I don't think that's a case of the manufacturers. I think it's just a case of human error uh, or for whatever, the, the wheel nut just kind of came off. So Vector 5, absolutely love it. I think it's a great looking car. Um, I think it handles really well. It's got that kind of great kind of buggy almost Baja kind of look about it and uh, yeah what do you guys think um, the Vector 5 is, is a waste of money it is horrendously expensive um, here in the UK uh, I don't know how much it is in America but over here is it, it, arm and a leg as they say over here as we say over here but um, yeah Vector 5 what do you guys think like it dislike it waste of money uh. overpriced um, what do you think? Let me know. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, comments below. And if you got this far, I would like you to type in the comments, Carrie Fisher. Thanks guys.